A grim statistic from the Metropolitan Crime Commission shows a growing number of the city's homicide victims are under the age of 18. The numbers show a 40% jump in those homicides over last year. WGNO's Ashley Hamilton is here with more. Ashley. Susie Kurt, it's an alarming trend. Young people being murdered on the streets of New Orleans with 15 victims under the age of 18 in the seven district alone. We talked to one mother whose teenage son was killed in the city's ongoing cycle of violence. Kenny, he was the type of person that keeps a smile on your face. He used to play football for the park. It's been a little over a month since 18 year old Kenneth Johnson was killed in the lower garden district. His mother is still struggling to come to grips about his death. I have my breakdown from time to time. This is new to me. I can try to comfort everybody else any time I need, but when it hit home, that's the most part that hurt it. His murder was another in the deadly trend affecting the city's youth. Crime stats show four teens were killed in New Orleans in November alone. What we're seeing is juveniles killing and shooting juveniles. And it's not because they are perpetrating an armed robbery or a carjacking. They're actually targeting each other. 18-year-old Kyron Williams has been arrested in connection to Johnson's murder. However, the family says that while they want justice, the violence needs to end. We're going to let justice take its toll, do what it do. But we are going to give a message of healing as a community as a whole and trying to figure out how do we collectively play off to kind of slow this thing down. The seven district leads youth homicides with 15 victims. With several of the murders still under investigation, the numbers of teens killed could continue to climb. What happens is if the perpetrators aren't arrested, then the friends and families of the victims are looking to retaliate, and that just fuels the violence that you're seeing there. Goenechi says that a crackdown on truancy violators is one thing that could help putting young people back in the classroom and out of the line of fire. Susie yeah. Kurt. Where they should be, we would hope. Thanks, Ashley.